passing away. Amy Winehouse passing away. Yeah, she. It, it's sad to put her pass away, though. It is, man. Cause she died at such a young age, 27 years old. That's the worst way to go out. And but you gotta realize, man, she had a drug problem. Like I felt bad for her, man. She had some good hits, man. Being from England, had a voice like that, man. Talking about, she had a good voice on her. But I don't understand what led her from being a great singer to being a crack whore. Not talking bad about it, but what led to that? Struggling with alcohol abuse, drug abuse. And that was bad. She died, she died at home. She died at her home in England, London, England, where... But there's a story. They they don't know how she died though. They don't like okay. How how you gonna do an investigation? But you don't know how she died. Well, I guess you could have said well we're gonna send an autopsy out. But um, they're saying now that one of the neighbors uh said she must have died died early hours of Friday morning because he heard screaming and moaning and all like that. And uh, they won't reveal his name. But uh, it sounded like he said it sounded like weird sexual game that scream was screaming and howling. The man who, when he said that, it, he woke him up at 2 a.m. and at night, 2 a.m. and, and well, to me it's the morning. It sounded like weird sounds. My son, he heard the same sounds, drum beats. He heard all this. That's the neighbors now seeing this. That this afternoon. He heard one of the Winehouse friends crying in the home. Realization she was dead. He believes a friend left her at, at home after a night out and returned in the afternoon to find her, bo find her body. I, I guess she went out partying. I guess she couldn't stay away. She be quiet, low profile, and that's why when I heard the sounds and screaming, I thought it was unlike her. This is what neighbors saying. It's a mic They heard screaming, howling, all these noises from Amy Winehouse house. And they never heard this. They woke him up at 2 a.m. in the morning because they knew that the the Winehouse friend, the Amy Winehouse friends, dropped her off and dropped her off at home, then left, then came in the afternoon the next day and found her dead. Now that's the sound. That's sound like what happened to Chris Farley. Chris Farley died the same way except the hooker left him for dead. And, uh, and this say, like I said, she, this say what, y'all yeah, gotta remember this. Once you get on this stardom, once you get on that limelight, you gotta remember, it's gonna be stressful. You gotta surround yourself with positive people because one thing is, if you do not surround yourself with positive people, that can help you get through things. You gonna end up like Amy Winehouse on drugs, sitting up there uh, snoring coat, doing heroin, drinking, all this and that. Act now, you gonna end up looking like Lindsay Lohan if you don't have positive people around you. Cause once you get out in that line, like man, you gotta do the right thing to protect yourself. Now she she didn't have no positive people around her to help her out. Did not have no positive people around her to help her help her out. I felt kind of bad for her because she didn't have nobody around her to help her out and guide her and take her under her wing and and all this and that because nobody didn't give a damn about the girl. If they gave a damn, at least somebody could have gone and helped her. She's trying to go to rehab. Well, it's kind of fun when she came up with this song. No, no, no. She's trying to oh, make me cold. Well, you should have took your own advice and went anyway. I'm not trying to be mean, not trying to be an ass, but it's just the simple fact is take your own advice and go anyway. And, I, and it's sad to say this girl died for nothing. This girl was on drugs. This girl, she had like, she started off, she didn't start off big, but she was getting there. She had two good albums, and she had two good albums. And them two good albums, she went down here. How you go, how you get two good albums and then shoot down? Now, Lizzie Long, well, the same thing, if you ask Lizzie Longham, she gonna be the same way. 
I don't get her just to get her attention now. Like I say, I man, if you're going to get off in the business, at least, <laughs> at least sit up there and put your, surround yourself around positive people. Or if you're going to, if you're going to do drugs, at least smoke weed with a Snoop Dogg. Shit. That's how I see it. If you don't do a drug, at least smoke weed with Snoop Dogg. You ain't going to get in trouble. Well, you probably get in trouble, but at least you won't. You should, at least you don't get caught up in that heroin and crack. Just smoke weed with Snoop Dogg or Willie Nelson. Y'all would be cool. Cause that'd be that the only drug that you can do. They ain't gonna kill you. They ain't gonna kill you like that. But damn, 27 years old and she died from all these drugs. And I'm telling you, man, people today, people today, you left just die from drug overdose. Michael Jackson. Damn, who else is gonna be? Like I said, Missy Lohan's next. When they, well, if she does, if she goes, I think a lot of people gonna be throwing the party, throwing the party up. Lizzie Lohan kicks the bucket. I bet the bitch got a bucket list right now. You know she going back to jail with. I don't. Well, I'm off topic, but uh, uh, but uh, Amy Winehouse. Man, back in the day before she even did this stuff, man, I wanted to holler at her because it was thick. This before she got on the drugs. When she got out the jail, I said, ugh. Look like a skeleton with a beehive. With a beehive. I'm like, damn. Ew. <laughs> but, uh, 27 years old, died in the home from. They don't know. She, she died in the home. Don't know how she died. Trying to figure that out. I and mean, then. How the hell? Like, why would you. Mm, they just leave question. Why would you get on drugs? Why would you do it? I know the limelight can be stressful, but. There's other ways to relax and unwind instead of hooking up on that drugs, but yeah, that's how it is. But, <laughs> but like I said, man, sad to see Amy Winehouse go out like that, dead in her home, and nobody knows how she died. So that's that's pretty sad right there, man. Well, she will be missed by a bunch of by a lot of people, like cause they won't. Well, you can still look up her songs, no, 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 but. It's sad that she died from where well, I guess all them drug uses and stuff really caught up to her so quickly and got the best of her. But, um, just been after. If you don't like what I got to say, I'm gonna say this. If you don't like what I got to say, don't say nothing at all. If you like what I got to say, leave a, do a video response or leave a comment. This has been Afro Joe. Holla at me. Rest in peace, Amy Winehouse.